Uranium miners on the ASX are lighting up the market and the bull is kicking into full gear. We're seeing the top six uranium miners on the ASX and we're having a look at how they're performing over the last month. For a full background on the industry developments and how we got to where we are, check out the uranium playlist on YouTube in the description below. Now, what we're looking at is the top six miners on the ASX and how they've performed because this is final market points where we connect the leading market themes, uranium miners, and the top performing companies for better trading. You can like the video to support the channel, click subscribe for updates, and comment below to let us know which uranium miners you're trading. Now, when we look at these top six uranium miners, we want to have a look to see how the commodity itself has been moving. So that's where we come over to have a look at the chart for the uranium commodity itself. So what we're seeing is this is the 20 year chart and it has been, it has seen better days. And we know this is coming from the Fukushima development or the Fukushima market that was in 2011 that really saw that bear kick into gear. But what we're zoning in on is to see how it's performed in the last year. You can see that it has been popping along and coming out November, December, where we started getting more traction into it. It did drop off. We've had a few spikes with a few extra elements happening. We've had Kazatom Prom. We've also had private equity firms and punters or hedge funds coming in there and speculating the market and pushing up the spot prices. We've seen those effects and we've commented on them. So you can see those videos that we've looked at before. But what we are looking at is the movement in the last month, 7.5% gains for the uranium price itself. Now we're going to jump over and have a look to see which companies have been the best performers. Coming in at number six, we've got Peninsula Energy. As you can see on the table here, 36% gains over the month. We know it's a uranium miner and we have looked at them before. We move up to have a look at number five, which is a name that many uranium miners that have been trading for a decade or two would know very well. This is Paladin Energy. So what we want to see with Paladin Energy is that massive movement. So we've had that good move October, December, where we started picking up more traction with uranium. We started looking at the US strategic uranium reserve and how that was impacting the markets and then pushing on through. We saw Kazatomprom, we saw yellow cake, and we've seen these movements that have been happening across uranium supplies globally. And then what that's done to these ASX miners. What we see here is that rally from 25 cents Back in February, strong pop to 45, sideways churn, and then a pop out with good volume. Seeing that, we're going to zoom in to see that here. This massive volume that we saw in the start of May, that did kick up 4th of May, around the time of our last video on uranium. And then we did see a massive rally today with good, strong volume popping out and breaking out of that congestion pattern. Very positive signs from this congestion that we're seeing sort of 55 and that's sort of 47, 48 area with that congestion throughout the month of May and then breaking out with solid volume. Good move for Paladin. When we see Peninsular Energy, you can see that chart where it did rally at the start of May, which we've looked at before, and they have traveled sideways with a bit of a trading hold as well. What we do want to see is move up to number four, which is Lotus. So we've seen Lotus resources before, and they're at 53% for the month. Having a look at the chart here on Lotus, we bring this out to have a look at how they've moved over the year. That's that same pattern, that same movement that we've seen from uranium miners, <laughs> December, January, sideways churn, and then a good pop, April, May, and then where we are pushing up again. And let's zoom in to see how that volume has been progressing with Lotus Resources, because it was strong volume on the up, less volume on the decline, a bit more on the gain here that we saw throughout mid-May, lower volume on the decline, all positive markers for a strong rally, and then popping up here, Gain, rally, strong volume, good movement, busting out over 22 cents from the open and maintaining a stronger close on the day. Good movement there. What we see here is a rally from April's 12 cents up to 12, 20 cents, and then a consolidation. Now, without getting into too much detail, we can be looking at a high tight flag, which many Australian traders will know we see more often than most other developed markets. The high and tight flag is a very reliable and very explosive pattern. After we see a move of 7,500% in a short amount of time, generally two to three months or less, preferably six weeks. To learn more about that pattern, click on the description below where we've gone into a full depth, in-depth tutorial of how to trade that and how to focus that on, you, on the mining companies on the ASX. And what we have found is that statistically, this is one of the most reliable patterns. If you have that overlay with a strong underlying thematic, like we have uranium at the moment, we found that it actually doubles the odds of hitting the profit targets. So really get, jump in, have a look at that video to see how we're trading that, how to trade the high and tight flag pattern, how to get the markers for the profit targets and how to double those odds 
with a strong thematic like we've got in uranium at the moment. We'll move on and have a look at number three, which is DevX resources, DEV. So we're going to have a look here, that's 63%. So we do know that DEV have a few projects, a few irons in the fire. They've got West, West Australian tenements, so they're looking at palladium and nickel. New South Wales, they've got copper and gold. And then they've got Northern Territory, they're focusing on the Alligator Rivers uranium projects, as well as some copper and gold. Now remember that Alligator Rivers, because that is critical for the leader that we do have in the Australian market. So we have a look at the chart here for Deb. So we're going to bring that out, have a look at this on the yearly side of things. They did start a bit earlier on the rally. They do have tenements in other areas. So they do have tailwinds from other commodities pushing and pulling this chart. You can see that we have started to progress. We did have the April May movements, but more recently we've had these strong pops, 21st, 25th of May. And then they're actually selling into volume today, which is interesting because as we had the volume come through for a lot of the uranium miners, this was sold into, doesn't negate that strong move, 63% for the month. Again, we're looking at a base here. So a recent low within that May period, early May, first week in May, 22 cents, popping up more than 100% rise, 45 cents, getting over 50 cents and opening over 50 cents this morning, closing there yesterday. We can see that very strong rally. So that is DevX resources pushing really, really strongly. And we do want to have a look at number two. So MEY, which is Maronek Energy. We've seen this name before many times when we've looked at the uranium leaders on the ASX. We've got a massive explosive movement here this is what we want to see for a high and tight flag so we do see we saw it before over in december and then we're seeing it again now we're breaking out of 14 cents up to 28 cents starting off with the first one this flagpole was a bit jittery we did see a massive pullback here down to 11 cents before it got up to 18 cents and then sideways consolidation where it eventually failed the sideways churn between this sort of 12 cent region 16 cents got us to where the breakout is now. And we're gonna zoom in to have a look at how that's been trading, how that formed and where the breakout was. Massive volume 29th of April and then eclipsed significantly on the 3rd of May. This is where it's broken out and then started that flagpole, that massive run up. We're going from sort of 14, 15 cents, 27, 30 cents, and only a slight breather for a couple of days, holding in there and then didn't really see a huge push out of volume until we saw today, which is well and truly beyond where the tip of the flagpole was. This would be a hard one to trade, but a strong momentum nonetheless. And looking at all these green candles, big volume spikes, very little selling into this, just a lot of buying and accumulating, running through those price steps, massive move from Maronek Energy for a 79% gain over the month. Strong, solid movements there. Now we move over to have a look at the best performer for the month, which is AGE. So we've got Alligator Energy, again, a company that we have looked at before as a uranium leader on the ASX. Now, moving from Maronek Energy, we know that they were exploring for uranium in the Namibia tenements. The company has in-house beneficiation process for uranium, upgrade, upgrade, that's a trademark. And that was developed in collaboration with Australia's CSIRO that produces low volume, high, high grade concentrate on uranium. To take first place, we go look at Alligator Energy, that's AGE, the company that we have seen many times before in leading uranium miners on the ASX. And when you have a look at the chart, there's a little wonder why. It's come from half a cent, it's now at four cents. And again, that's a high tight flag that we do see in there. Massive explosive movement, one and a half cents, bang, shoots up three, three and a half, goes up four, four and a half cents. So we're seeing massive rise, one and a half cents to four and a half cents. It's put on huge percentage gains. Zoom in and have a look at that. You're seeing good accumulation here throughout the flagpole, good strong flag, good strong rallies, good strong candles with supportive volume throughout it. A bit of a dip here, but looking at it, it's a lower volume than what it had seen in two, three previous highs in the last two or three weeks over here to the left. Then it's coming out. As it's dropping down, note that the low red bars at the bottom, very low volume on the way down, and then it's consolidating. Only a couple of days to trawl across the side and then shooting out here today on a high explosive volume. It is breaking out of that downward trend and then to that congestion. And what can happen is possibly another 50, 75, 100% gain of what that flagpole has been. So that's one to look out for alligator energy. Now we do have a look at what the company does. So they are known for high grade uranium deposits in the Alligator Rivers Uranium Province. We saw that with DevX Resources and their uranium tenements in Northern Territory. Now this province 
hosts several world-class high-grade uranium deposits. This is including the Ranger number one and number three deposits, which have to date produced over 300 million pounds of U308 for export and the Blinker deposit, which is one of the world's largest uranium deposits and having a resource of in excess of 300 million pounds of U308 at half a percent. So very strong, very good tenements there. And that's the region that's getting a lot of attention at the moment. When we have a look at the more recent news for AGE, so we'll see if we can get up some of the news library and have a look at what's been coming through. But we do know for a bit of a recap, looking at all of this all of these announcements most recently. So you can see here in May, a lot of announcements to market. We've got April, we've got March and going back to January. So to summarize this, we've got SRZ sold a non-core exploration license to AGE adjacent to the Samfire project. And that was back in October, 2020. Alligator to follow that up with electromagnetic survey commence in their Big Lake project. And then they partnered with North American company, Global Uranium Group Traxis. And that's to advance their project to provide uranium marketing services for future uranium production, long-term offtake contracting, project development and financing, as well as acquisition opportunities. Now, more recently, their updates are stated by Alligators saying that their aim this year is to upgrade the Blackbush resource undertake updated ANSTO testing for uranium recovery and incorporate these into economic scoping study to be completed and announced by the end of 2021 this year. That's their focus. That's what they're updating market in these investor presentations that they've been wearing the shoe leather out for the last week or so. More recently, we'd call those Zoom calls. That's what they've been doing is they've been doing the round for stoking interest from investors and clearly they're getting some traction because they're shooting out of the gates with the tailwind of this strong uranium movement that we've seen today. They're the top six uranium miners in the market over the last month. We've had a lot of moves in the last couple of days. Because so what we'll do is we've dragged this out so you can have a look at to see what the performance has been like just today itself. So we'll drag, drag these companies here, move them in, to have a look at their performances. And on the day, we've got Dev down 12%, which we said was selling into the volume. Uranium, the commodity itself, didn't move too much. Peninsula Energy, 2.8. Marineka, 4.41. Lotus, 6.98. Paladin Energy, 19%. And then Alligator, 20%. So solid moves. Let's have a look at that chart again for Paladin to see that massive move. There you go, 19% for Paladin Energy. Very strong moves. Bring this out over the year. And let's rank this for the year. We've got Uranium, the commodity itself, down 6%. Peninsula Energy up 47%. DevX Resources 138% gains. Lotus 141% for the year. Paladin Energy 166%. And then just being pipped out marginally on some roundings by Maranecker Energy 166% as well. Top performer Alligator Energy 194% over the year. They're the top six uranium miners. You can like the video to support the channel. Click subscribe for updates and comment below to let us know which uranium miners you're trading.